from LA to LA on the run like I don't got in the state. Yeah. I went from LA to the A on the run, you can tell where I stay. Munir, what's up? How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Okay, I'm doing great. So you awesome. got to talk to me about this. This shirt is nice. It's like a button-down shirt, but it has an edgy look to it. Thank you. Yes, in the jeans. So talk to me about the fit. I appreciate it. So the top is from Comme des Garçons. Okay, ooh. Um, let's the let's fly. necklace is from uh, Lumiere. Uh-huh. Um, the shirt is just like a compression shirt. Yeah. Uh, the watch is an AP. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. No, um, <laughs> uh, these are uh, Louis Vuitton, Virgil Error. Uh, Taurus vs. Purist jeans. Oh, these are fly. Yes, I like and that green velvet um, stitching in it. Right. And then these are uh, some Margiela Futures. Just yeah. keeping it kind of simple with a little bit of flair. Yeah, I like that. And let me tell you something. I want to compliment the Margiela's that you wear because I rarely see anybody wear it like that, but I love when, you know, certain pieces don't go out of style. You know, you just wear it whenever you want to. Right? Yeah, it's Man, one of those great. for me. Right, right, right. <laughs> we just fly. And what's your favorite season to get dressed? Like My summer, spring? My favorite season to get dressed is like fall, winter. Okay. I really That's love cool. layering and jackets. So yeah. that, that's definitely my favorite. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. And when you hear the word fashion, what's the first thing that come to mind? Freedom. Freedom? Yeah. Love that. Love that. And where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, all around me, yeah. uh, but especially my peers and my culture. I feel like that informs the way I dress, the way I create yeah. a lot. Okay, that's dope. Oh, wait, one more. Do you have any up and coming like fall items, that pieces that you're looking forward to? Um, So I'm a designer myself. Okay, nice. Uh, so I design a lot of jackets. Okay, design the building. Probably fall is one of my favorites. Yes. Um, yeah, like I'm really, really looking forward to long trench coats. Yes, okay. I think that's like definitely going to be my vibe this year. Yes, 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 definitely. Well, we, we got to go check you out. You know what I'm saying? We have to support. Yeah, yes, thank <laughs> For you. sure. Thank it. you. I appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. Keenan and Trina, what's up? How y'all doing today? What's up, Hi. Uh, hey, how y'all doing? So y'all look fly. I mean, Keenan, talk to me about the fit. Starting from the shirt, going on down. All right, so I don't know the shirt. I, I found it on Instagram, bro. Okay. Uh, self stolen arts. Yeah. Uh, the pants, I ain't gonna hold you. Like these pants are from Africa, me, but I sold on the things on the side, bro. I got okay. these from, I got these from Amazon and I just, yeah. just sold them on to make to kind of put my own flavor on it. Okay, okay, you like that. I mean? That's fly, that's fly. And then moving on to Trina, talk to me about your fit from head to toe. Um, okay, so overall the statue of uh, yeah. shoes are just samba. Okay, just like, like that. white tee. They don't really where I got from. Hat is from Amazon too. And Ooh, then, then, uh, okay. Yes. Little on it. I like that. I like yes. And Amazon definitely be having those pieces right, right here. But I like the fact you know how y'all play with the highs and the lows. You know right. what I'm saying? It makes yeah. it happen. It still made it come together. <laughs> and Keenan, where do you get your style inspiration from? I ain't gonna lie. Like I see different pieces that other people have on, and I kind of yeah. piece it all together to make it how 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 I want to express myself. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Like that. And Trina, like, what's your favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring, winter, definitely fall. Definitely fall. I like to layer. I like baggy, but I also want to do like baggy with a little top. So I like to okay. do a little fall. Like this, this right now, though, is pretty good too. But. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. Keenan, favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring? Definitely. You could put more layers on and put that shit on. Yeah, for sure. And when you hear the word fashion, Trina, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, Definitely unique, something to stand out. Like, yes. I like something a little different all the time. I don't want to do too chill. I want it to be chill, but also like all cheetah print something yeah. like that right because it's fly yes right. that's fly that overall hey, Keenan, you with um when you hear the word fashion like what's the first thing that come to mind i, I look at it like people expressing themselves you know yeah. what i'm saying like you're having a good day yeah. your outfit is gonna portray you know what i'm saying how you really feel on the inside and out, outside yeah you know I mean? for, sure, for sure thanks a lot y'all appreciate it continue you know do your thing <laughs> i love What's good, y'all? So fit check of the day. I pray to God that y'all can see me. I got this fitted on right here. Shout out to the Atlantis team. I love the peach right here. The super fly. That's one thing that stuck out to me about this hat. That's why I had to get it. Also, this is the Adam Levine jacket that somebody brought me a while ago. I love the uh, patch and the colorways in the eagle along with the black trim and then the white creamish colorway right here. This is super dope. Perfect season to pull it out right now. Y'all know I love fall season. Uh, you could wear a light jacket, a hoodie, a jacket, a t-shirt, whatever your choice of day is or the weather, that's what you can work it with. I got this Bob Molly tee on that I wore in the summertime. The only problem that I slightly have with it is that it's ripped on the side and I wasn't able to get the needle through the thread. <laughs> uh, but I still put it on because it's one of my favorite shirts. Also, I got these Nike Tech. Shout out to all. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to all my youngins. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's still rocking with the Nike Techs. 
Bro, when I don't feel like getting dressed, I be quick to grab my Nike Tech pants out my closet. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? What I love most about it is that they got them by the flavors. So they got red, um, blue, black, gray, you name it. And then you could always pair with a uh, calm pair of sneakers or a loud pair of sneakers. I paired it with my Air Max today. These are the Air Max 95. What I love about Air Max is that they never go out of style. They're kind of like a New York staple. You know what I'm saying? You have to always have them in your closet. Between Butters, Air Max... Air Force Ones, and there's another sneaker right now that I can't name, but those three for sure, you must have in like your rotation. They don't really make the Air Max like they used to make it before. Remember when they used to have like the, the two colorways, like it would be like the dark gray, light gray, and then orange, or then it'd be the dark gray, light gray, and then the dark blue. They don't really make that um, order no more. If you see in my Air Max right here, they kind of have the dark gray, the light gray, the light light gray and then they have this new love like kind of like it's two blues in one but they never used to make that before they used to make the solid color like blue piece right here or it was yellow it was green but they just had it in mad different flavors um i still want to look for those air max um it was good i ran into like a couple styles people today you know what i'm saying um i ran out to ran into the people's gallery make sure y'all go check out his content you know what i'm saying me and him you know Finally, you know, had a talk. I'm just going to say that. And after we had our talk, it felt so good to just be relieved in knowing that instead of having disagreements over stupid stuff, all you have to do is just have a conversation as an adult. Conversations are very, very, very much important. Now, there's people that have conversations and make the same mistakes, but there's people that have conversations and learn from it and I would never dim the next man light or I would never want nobody to dim my light because of me. Not saying that that's what the conversation was about. I'm just talking in general. The conversation at the end of the day is that it could be both two successful men in the room doing their thing, thriving and getting money and, you know, loving what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's what I appreciate. What I appreciate appreciated most about our conversation that we had the other day was that we came to an understanding that we really have like a lot of things in common, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, yo, it's dumb for us to sit here and be beefing with each other, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm like, you got a name for yourself. I'm trying to build my name for myself or whatever the case is. I'm like, bro, I would love to like bump into you at fashion shows. Like, yo, what's good? Like, you know, talking to you about different fashion, what we talk about sports, what we talk about liquor. Like, I would just love to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't want to beef with nobody. Like, for granted, you are going to have people that you have disagreements with. You're going to have people, not everybody is going to like you. But at the end of the day, the people that you can have conversations with and, you know, extend a peace treat, have conversations with them. You know, still keep your eyes open, of course. But, you know, you don't want to walk around with, like, that burden every day or, like, that cloud. Because after we had our conversation, I felt like it was a dark cloud that lifted up to see the sun. And now we good. I see him in the street. I say, what's up? Um, like, a couple of days ago, he was talking to somebody, so I didn't really say too much. But, you know, when I see him now, like, we talk. We talk, we talk, we talk. So it's so good. It's so good. It's such a good feeling. And y I feel like y'all have to be in my shoes and want to talk about or maybe have been through a certain experience, but I'm not sure for work. This was a short video because I didn't make it to that event uh, uh, this morning because I was so tired, y'all. Like, I was so beat the fuck up, and I had to feed the inner child in me today, meaning I had to do this full vlog. So, I still brought y'all a video. It's not a long, long, long video like I wanted, but tomorrow I am going to that event, and I want to drop that video on Monday, which I think that y'all really going to like. Oh, my God. I hope it's not 455 on my fucking screen. Um, but, yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for always staying down with me. Um, my favorite looks from today's video was the couple at the beginning. Um, the, the third look from the video. Um, I loved everybody looks. Everything was just a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So um, that was dope. And I met somebody that knows somebody else that I know. And I was like, oh, shit, you know him? And he was like, yeah, that's great people. He's my director. And I was just like, oh, shit, like, I know him, too. I'm like, we're cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, he's good people. Like, I always have conversations with him. So I love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace.